Hey, it's a uh, conference update with Brian and Donald Lynn. And, oh, let's see. I, oh, I just got back from coffee at Crossroads Coffee. And, uh, and then I come out to my car and my four-way flashers had been going the entire time I was in there. <laughs> How did you do that? Well, here's the deal. <laughs> I've, I've been there. I've been there a couple times with Randy Myers, and <laughs> and the first time I went with Randy, Randy, you know, I'm going to pay with the conference credit card, and then Randy says, "Hey, you know," he says the the uh, lady working there, "Hey, this guy needs a punch card," and I didn't even know they did punch cards, so Randy got me set up with a punch card, and I I keep the punch card in my car, and oh. when I grab the punch card, I hit the four way flashers. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> and did not even notice. So good news is my car started. <laughs> and my four-way flashers can last for over an hour um, going uh, without draining the battery down. So that's yay. good news. That's good news. Way good to news. test that hey, out. Hey, uh, hope you had a good Father's Day. And uh, where uh, did we go? We went to Jefferson for I church Sunday. You were there. <laughs> And uh, I got chocolate, and oh, I should have, I should have got the chocolate. Where is it? Uh, oh, we're not saying because Dave might watch this, and Dave might say, "Wait a minute, I want my chocolate." Well, uh, he he got something for Father's he Day. He got I'm something sure. too, but uh, yeah, we were at Jefferson, and they had these cute little. They had chocolate, but then they had it wrapped really super nice, and then they had dad jokes on the on the chocolate. What was uh, your dad joke? Oh, uh, now it's over there. Uh, I'm, we'll go get it. Now I have to. Do me get Are it? you going to talk? No, well, I'll get no, it. No, no, you got to. Now you're trying to leave. Yeah, I was going to go get the chocolate bar. Well, you don't know where it's at. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Fine. That's okay. It said something like, uh, oh, that was really bad. Adam and Eve uh, were really good at math uh, or something like that because God said, be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> <laughs> they they showed a video uh, in church of uh, dad jokes, and one of them I just uh, they were groaners. <laughs> they were, but one of them was you know they were kind of Bible based dad jokes too. Yeah. Some of them, and I one of them was wrong uh, because it's uh, the shortest man in the Bible, Nehemiah. Nehemiah, and I and I'm sitting there and I want to just argue with the video. So I, <laughs> No, he's not. He's the second shortest man. The shortest man in the Bible is in the book of Job. There's Bildad the shoe height. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see. Mountain View, they did a, a car show uh, oh, Sunday. And fun. so, yeah, they had a good time. They did a car show. And uh, oh, down in Albany at City Church, uh, I talked to Josh yesterday. They were going to do a car show on Sunday, but rain in the forecast so they they delayed it and i can't remember when they're going to do that i just Ooh. remember i'm i can't make it oh. uh i want to say july 2nd maybe oh, uh, i okay. just remember thinking oh i'm busy somewhere else that sunday uh but they're doing car show they delayed their car show but it's still going to happen awesome. and so we get to see lots of pictures online of churches doing cool father's day things and uh so and what one church was giving away dad's root beer, weren't they? Yeah, I believe that was Park Place. <laughs> yeah. Because I donated blood there last week and I saw some dad's root beer sitting in their kitchen. So I'm like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let me guess. Dad's root beer, Father's Day coming up. There we go. I... Sounds like a good plan. And so that's all kinds of fun. Lots of churches. It was kind of fun to see pictures uh, of, of churches doing cool things for Father's Day. And uh, let's see. Oh, also, we had to go back. We went, we were, we saw my parents because uh, after church, we saw my parents because it wasn't just Father's Day. It was also my mom's birthday Sunday. Are uh, we, we're not, it was a milestone. Nope, nope, nope. We're not. Nope, we can't no, talk numbers. We're not talking numbers. We're not even talking about it. And nope, uh, nope. it just happened. And uh, and what's oh, because mom watches. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble from my mother-in-law. What's funny to me is uh, <laughs> my mom and Pastor James Carmichael at the Grove are birthday buddies. So oh, cool! Happy birthday, James. Kind of belated here. Uh, so. Uh, 
Yeah, so we went and saw my parents Sunday that afternoon and nice. hung out, and they were happy we were there. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. Well, they like you. And <laughs> they like uh, you too. then we had lunch with a family Monday, and uh, yeah, so today we're kind of back at, at things here. Tomorrow, I get to go down to Eugene and do a meeting with uh, Will Kenzie Church down there at Eugene. So uh, that's all kinds of fun. We were, ah, man, that was a while ago we were there. What was that, February? I think that was February. Yeah, for two Sundays we in a row. We were there for two Sundays in yeah, a row. Yeah. Uh, Chris Nielsen was on vacation. Uh, and so yep. we were there two Sundays in a row. Had a, a wonderful people there. I know. Oh, there, there was, was even a potluck. There was a potluck. And, and, it was yeah, so fun. So, I just loved everybody. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, so anyway, I get to go to Eugene for... A local conference tomorrow night. We are wrapping up local conferences. I know. Coming to the finish line. I feel like um, my my schedule is freeing up a little bit. Uh, so uh, yes, the last two local conferences coming up tomorrow at Willa Kenzie, and then Sunday is the last of the local conferences at Canby Evangelical Woo-hoo. Church. So that's exciting. That'll be exciting. I haven't been to visit Canby on a Sunday. And, uh, and I really like Rob Dressler, such a wonderful guy. Uh, and we're so lucky to have him join, uh, the conference. And, uh, so he's a oh, sharp guy, wonderful. And so we're looking forward to that. Uh, and so anything else going on with you, Donalyn? What are you, I saw you working on stuff on the computer over oh, there. Oh yeah. Working on, uh, women for missions, women for um, missions, getting the registration form, right? together and poster and stuff so we can send to the churches here coming up in september it sure is it's just the saturday i believe the 23rd yeah i think that's the saturday this year and so good yeah Yeah. that's exciting yes um oh there's also connection type of things coming up in just a couple weeks uh like uh camp uh, youth camp at Triangle Lake. Ooh, that's coming up. That's coming up real soon. Oh my goodness! I think l- less than three weeks. Like that's... three weeks from now, they'll be at camp. I loved going to youth camp back oh, in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My word, that yep. was just. Mm. Yep. I think I don't know how many times I rededicated <laughs> my life to the Lord. <laughs> Maybe because I wasn't always the best sister. But you're a great sister now. I'm the best. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, those were the days. And I, I remember, yeah, I remember lots. I remember, oh, uh, the Christian comedian, uh, Shonda Pierce. Mm-hmm. Uh, she talks about how she, she went down to the altar all the time at youth camp, usually when there was a cute boy down there. too. Oh, yeah. That was so, not why I right. chose. Uh, so yeah, youth camp's coming up, triangle lake, get kids to youth camp. And, uh, oh, Aaron Anderson, like him. Uh, oh, and his wife, and too. And his wife. They're yes. just wonderful. And they mm-hmm. got youth camp coming up, and they're, uh, they're working hard at that. There's also that same week as uh, Multnomah Holiness Camp. Uh, and so that's coming up, too, here in the city. And yes, we have, a, we have links for, to both of those online. We got links on the, yeah, on the, on the oh, email update that goes yes. out. Um, and the speaker at Multnomah Holiness Camp is Matt Friedemann. Mm-hmm. who spoke at Pastors and Spouses Retreat just over a year ago uh, for us over there at Newport. So, uh, good guy. And so that's coming up. That oh, is. Oh, my word. Yeah. We actually took a day off. We did. On Friday. Right. Yeah, we did. We yeah. we did this this long... We had to get up early because we dropped uh, our daughter and son-in-law off at the airport. Well, we're up anyway. So then we went... Up I five to Longview, and then over to Astoria. Yes. Yes. And then up to Cannon Beach. Right. We uh, at Astoria. We went out to eat. We did. Restaurant was a little spendy, but it was pretty fancy and uh, so very good. fancy. And right on, right, right there. What was it? Bridgewater or something? Yeah, Bistro. I think so. Bridgewater Bistro. That's our unpaid advertisement today, apparently. <laughs> but they had a lot of gluten-free options. A lot options. of gluten-free options for you. And 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. They they had like the this the fish and chips and usually I get it grilled just because I can't do mm -hmm. whatever breading right. they put on it. But this was um a gluten-free right. yeah. and it was it was very yeah. good. I had no reactions. I don't think yeah. I reacted to it that I recall. And we did a drive by of my great grandma Pearson's house in Astoria. Uh yes. she passed away when I was in college. So we we went there, you know when I was a kid and go see great grandma Pearson and oh, that old house. Um, it's, 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 it's looking older, but then again, it's, it's an old house. Uh, That's true. and, uh, so it looks so much smaller than it did when I was a kid. Um, of course I've gained a lot of weight since I was, you know, 10 years old. Uh, That's and probably a good thing. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> But that was such a yeah, great day we went just to, to do this. And then we made it Seaside, back in time. Go to Cannon Beach and see the big rock. And then we made it back in time to watch online. My niece graduated from high school. So in, we, Medicine Hat, in Alberta. In Canada there. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, yeah, we saw, we saw the kid and your sister. Uh, we didn't see her online, but we heard her because she teaches at the school there and so she was reading some of the names and wait a minute i know that voice <laughs> i know that voice <laughs> so, yeah that was pretty cool so yeah. i think i think it was a a nice weekend i think so yeah, yeah it was yeah. I, I felt like we truly unplugged a right? little bit yeah so kind of nice anyways, yeah. yeah so hey uh we are you know seriously things are going pretty good uh, as I make the rounds with churches, uh, I, I'm hearing so many good reports, and this really is our bounce back year after COVID. I mean, we were waiting. We thought 2021 we'd bounce back, but that that's it's been delayed a little bit. But boy, hearing so many good reports from churches, things are going really good, and we need to continue looking to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's His church, right? Uh, it's not our church. It's His church, and people need Jesus. So, exactly. Anything else? No, oh. I, I think I was just going to say that's been my thing that I look forward to the most because I don't go with Brian everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I, I always look forward to just hearing um, about his time with the churches. Oh. and, and um, So and much fun. I, I know. It's my, <laughs> been my favorite part this right? year is just listening to the stories yeah. of the good things that are happening and just the connections and, yep. and, and just um, everything. So anyways... Um, have a great week. Right. And we'll see you next time on Midweek Update, or Conference Update with Brian and Donna Lynn. And don't forget, today's unpaid advertisement, Bridgewater Bistro and Story. <laughs> we recommend it. That <laughs> yeah, was okay. We should have gone to Hawaiian or Hurricane Ron's. <laughs> Uh, as my dad's name is Ron, so there's a restaurant called Hurricane Ron's, but sounds interesting. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Hey, we'll see you later. Bye. And it didn't turn off. Oh, I need to turn the thing on. Okay, now we'll try. Boy, that was an awkward. Pause. <sighs>